I'm a big lyricist. And so I will like write down like poems in my notes app or in my diary or I'll be thinking about something and I'll be like, oh, that could be a good line. Um, like the first line that I ever wrote for driver's license was, I know we weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. And I like was just like thinking about that while I was sitting in the passenger seat of my mom's car and I just wrote that down in my notes app. And then when I like sat down to write at the piano, I was like, oh, that's a good like little bit. Um, so I put that in the chorus and lots of my songs kind of start out that way, start out from like a, a lyric or like a lyrical concept just because I love lyrics so much. But you know, it's also different every time, and I think that's sort of the magic of songwriting. Okay, so I think showing up is really important. It's more important than being talented or good at anything, because like, you can be super talented, but if you don't show up, what's the point? But it doesn't always come easy. I think there's periods where, you know, it, you, you don't have writer's block, and it just flows, and you're really inspired. But lots of time, it's like work and lots of times I have to sit down on my piano and be like okay Olivia you're gonna write for an hour and then if you don't like it that's fine but you're gonna at least try and I think ideas flow more easily when you're constantly showing up I don't know I believe in like cosmic energy and like you know higher powers and stuff with creativity and I think that if you you know show the universe that you're willing to put the work in that you will like receive great ideas more often and I feel like that made me a much better songwriter and you know I think some of the ideas I, I wouldn't have, you know, gotten to jot down if I didn't, you know, make myself do that every day. So I think sometimes you just have to work and write and create even when you don't feel particularly inspired -y and not just waiting for like a lightning bolt idea or like something to inspire you. Finished is sometimes better than perfect. I can't tell you how many times I've like sat at a piano and like been writing a song and been like, this is terrible, I should just quit, like this is so bad. One day I'm like, this is great, and the next day I'm like, I'm never putting this out, this is awful. But I like force myself to finish it, or at least like finish the idea or whatever, or like finish the verse and chorus. And lots of the times I come back and I'm like, oh wait, that was actually like great. Like I was getting like really in my head about it. And so you're never gonna learn from something if you just like throw it away the second you think it's not good. And you're never gonna learn how to like craft something good if you just like are waiting for like just like lock in a bolt of inspiration to strike you. I just feel like songs are better that way and I feel like people can tell when something is honest and coming from a real place versus when it's not. My vulnerability and honesty and so kind of learning that that's what people resonated with kind of helps me with writing all of my other music. Like, like some days I'm like this is amazing this is my passion this is what I love to do and other days I'm like oh my god this is so bad. I don't know why anyone is listening to this. I can't do this. And, you know, I think that's just part of like being an artist and making art that's like really personal and vulnerable. I think that's just part of it. That to me is the hardest thing to do and the most gratifying me being able to write a song that really resonates with me. So it's a true representation of what I was feeling and what I was going through. Uh, listen to music like a songwriter. Uh, I have grown exponentially from doing this. I think it is the best way to grow as an artist in any way is to draw on inspiration from people that you look up to. I'm obsessed with the way that Taylor paints pictures and her imagery is fantastic and her storytelling is just like insane. So I don't think I'm as good of a storyteller as she is yet, but I always try to like put aspects of that sort of narrative singer songwritery type lyricism in my songs. I think Lord really teaches me a lot about like production and like actual music music. I think she always makes such interesting choices and so I try to do that. And also she's a brilliant lyricist as well and she's super poetic and you can tell that like lots of her songs started out as poetry and so some of my songs start out that way too uh, when I try to emulate her. Also a big like lyrical inspiration for me is Phoebe Bridgers. She's just like so like brutally honest and says stuff that you like wouldn't think of being in a song. And I think that's impactful and beautiful and so I sort of try to do that as well. Be like, okay, I'm gonna like try to write a song like as if they were writing this song. And it just like completely like broadens your horizons and helps make your music just like that much better. Restrictions like that sort of make you more creative. And so it's one of the most fun parts of being a songwriter is you get to be whoever you wanna be. I, I really just write music because it's my favorite thing in the whole world to do. I just love it so much. The second that you sort of start writing a song with the intention of it being liked by other people, it loses its magic. At least for me. I don't write music to put music out or to have music chart. To write songs for yourself and because you love it and you like to do it, you just have to tell your story because you know humans are all so much more alike than we are different and we're all feeling so much of the same things that we just don't talk about. And I'm like, oh wait, but people won't like this if I do this. Or like, oh, I have to do this if people like it. it just absolutely like ruins it. And I think you just have to be 
true to you when you're like writing all of that stuff and try to stay out of your head and do it because you love it. Don't do it for, you know, other people. That's the, those are the best types of songs. Read poetry, as much poetry as you can. I feel like that really informs my lyricism. I think I have to start a song with a lyrical concept or idea. I'm like a very lyric, narrative story-based songwriter, um, and everything else kind of is secondary to that. So in order to write a song that I like, it has to be either a poem that I like or like a concept or like a play on words that I can sort of go from. The hook of Deja Vu is, when she's with you, do you get Deja Vu? And it's this sort of concept that I I'm really obsessed with and I think something that my friends and I were going through where it's like sometimes when you break up with someone and they get with somebody else it sort of feels like everything that they're doing is recycled which happens in every relationship.